In this lecture, we're going to focus on searching through all of our notes, whether they're handwritten, audio, or video files, or typed in notes. Now before we begin our searches, I want to show you how to turn on the searching capability for your audio and video notes. You need to go to the File tab and go to Backstage. From here we're going to go to Options, click on the Audio and Video tab, and make sure under the Audio Search area, the Enable Searching Audio and Video Recordings for Words is checked. Caution, when you check this box, your search performance is going to run slower because it's going to be searching through audio and video as well. In addition, it takes it a while to set up the searching capabilities for the audio and video. So once you turn it on, you can't go in and immediately run a search on your audio and video because it won't have it indexed to find the words. The best thing to do is once you turn it on, leave OneNote up and running so that it's running idle and come back in a couple hours. By then it should be done. So we're going to say OK. Mine's been turned on for a while, so I can go ahead and run a searches on my audio and video. So now let's go ahead and run some searches. To run a search on your notebooks, you need to go over to the far right of your screen to the search window. The first thing I want to show you is how to set your search or where exactly you want to search within OneNote. So we're going to click on the down arrow in the search window to set our scope. From here we can find things on this page, this section, this section group, this notebook, or all of our notebooks. For these examples, I'm going to leave it set to all notebooks. You can also, once you set this, set it as your default for any searches you run. Once we have it set, we're going to go in and put in our search criteria. So I'm going to click within there, and once I do that, it's going to pull up some recent pics of things I had gone through. So let's go ahead and type in our search criteria, and you'll notice I've gotten 10 hits. If I click on one of my results, it's going to take me to that note and it will highlight my search criteria within the page so I can see exactly where my result is. There we go again, and so forth. Now if I go to the very bottom of my search results where it says Pen Note and Audio Search Results Pane and click on that, it's going to bring up my search results pane. And from here, I can see my audio and video results. If I come down, to under the audio search results, I can change my sort list by title, by confidence, and I can also click to hear my search results. If I click on this button, if you look at the page, I can go exactly to where the word is within my recording, or I can listen to the whole recording. If we come down a little bit further, I can change my confidence results. So if I'm not so confident about the word within the audio or video, I can change it to a lower number to see if I get more hits on it. Because remember, it's only going to be as good as it hears what you've said. So if the recording is not clear, you may not get hits on some of the words that you think are out there. Let's scroll back up to the top where it says pages found 12. If we click here to view matches, it's going to show all of the matches. So I can see a summary as well, instead of having to come over to the other results and click on the page to see it. So I can see exactly what it's talking about. This looks like one I want to go to, so I can click on it. And it's going to take me to that page and again highlight it. So it gives me more of a summary so I can see where my results are. We can go ahead and close that out. So as a review, searches are done from the search window over in the far right. Click on the down arrow to set your search scope. Click in the window to set your search criteria. You can click directly on your results from here, or you can come down and pin your note. So you can see a summary of the results, and also see your audio and video results. Remember, if you need to search your audio and video, you need to go to File, Options, audio and video, and make sure the Enable Searching Audio and Video Recordings for Words is turned on. Also keep in mind when you turn this on, just as it says, it's going to take longer for the search. So if you've got a lot of recordings out there that it's going to search through, don't expect your results to come back immediately.